Have you noticed that um, that the Los Angeles Clippers are a very, very jinxed organization? Yeah. Okay. Do you know why that is? They okay. sold their souls? Basically, they sold their souls, right? They had Don Donald Sterling for a while, right? The yeah. racist guy, the sexist guy. Well, he was also a pariah before any of that stuff happened. Because they were known as the San Diego Clippers. Then, one summer, he just moves them to Los Angeles. Did not ask anyone, did not tell anyone. And the NBA was like, what happened? And they find him like out the yin yang, like so much, so many millions. They also took away draft picks for like several years. And when that happened, their team got infinitely worse because they had no structure, they had no foundation because their draft picks were just being stolen from them. <coughs> so it's an actual literal thing. And then for the first NBA lottery draft, Yes, that was the frozen lottery card thing where they picked it up for the New York Knicks right on purpose. One of the other reasons why they wanted the Knicks to get it was so that the Clippers wouldn't get it because the Houston Rockets, they had just tanked two straight years to get Ralph Sampson and then Akeem Olajuwon back-to-back -back years. And then the Clippers were planning to already do it. They had tanked the previous year. And he was even on record saying, we can win by losing. And he, they he told them to lose on purpose in the media. So the NBA already hated Don Donald Sterling way before. And I think all this stuff, even through Danny Manning getting that first pick, was all because the NBA wanted them to do bad. And then <coughs> just karma got them after that. Have you heard any of this? No. No, you just thought that they were bad. Now with that said, I would put the Nets and the Denver Nuggets in their category. What did they do? Deserve such bad luck all these well, Let's see, we used to be the Denver Rockets. We won an eight, I believe the Nuggets won an ABA. Yeah, so maybe are, are they a little sore about that? They don't want you guys winning another one? Maybe. I'm trying to think. No, oh, man, it was the injuries though in the 90s and 80s. Injuries happen. So with the Clippers, why have they been losing still? Injuries now. Just because Kawhi. I mean, they just can't win. No, they no. had Chris Paul, they had Lob City, right? They still lost. You know what it is? What? We're a landlocked state. For Colorado, okay? But now how about the New Jersey Nets? They're so close to New York that everyone wants to do the Knicks instead. And then with the Lakers being in... But the Knicks are cursed right now, too. Knicks have been cursed for a little bit. For a little bit. Have Knicks ever won one? Yeah. 71 or something like that. That's a curse. I mean, they've That's won. That's 50 years. That's they've 50 years. Won. That's half a century. <laughs> so, I mean, the Clippers curse goes a lot further than just a random curse. It's a purposeful action done by the NBA, and that's just a rumor, but you can feel free to spread it. But now they got their own stadium. They went through the right pass this time, right? They got Balmer, who's a decent human being, right? I mean, he's a millionaire. Can't be that decent. Billionaire. 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 Oh, Don't my you bad. dare call him a millionaire. All right, look, but he's not like slapping um, people on the butt on the way into the office, as we far as we know. I was going to say, we don't know that. Yeah, but Bomber's been an issue for a long Here, time. Here's why the Nuggets are cursed. Sorry, not Bomber. Um, Sterling was an issue for a long time. Here's why the Nuggets are cursed. The Nuggets are one of the owners, are some of the richest in the entire world. Are they? They own FC. They own the Rams. Or not the Rams. They own... Uh, is it the Rams? It is the Rams. Los Angeles Rams. They own... Okay, wait. Rockies, Rapids, they own so, 11 wait. sports teams. So that kind of adds up, because Steve Ballmer's one of the richest guys in the whole world, right? I don't know what Sterling was, but the Nets guy, Reveshnikov, or whatever his name is, he's one of the richest guys in the world, too. But Mark Cuban is doing pretty well. Yeah, but he's a nice guy. He might say some dumb stuff. He might be... So you think if you're if you're rich and evil, you have no chance in the NBA? I can't say that. <laughs> Can we name a rich and evil person that runs a well-oiled machine of NBA franchise. I don't know if we can. Who's the dude that did the Lakers dynasty? He's not, they, they weren't that rich. He almost went, went, went bankrupt his first year. He still would have more money than us combined. Oh no, all of them. If you own an NBA team, period, you, yeah. you have a lot of money. You're talking like top of the top. Yeah, I'm talking about like the rich of the rich, but yeah. What's the Milwaukee owner like? I have no clue. Drake owns Toronto. Does he own them? 
Yeah, he's a part owner. I happen to know one of the owners of the Sacramento Kings. He's a nice dude. Yeah, but Sacramento. Sacramento does stuff. Anyway, that's just a rumor. That's all I got to say.